friends welcome to dr varsha gaitonde's channel in this lecture i am going to talk about maintenance breeding whenever we talk about the breeding strategy maintaining the lines integrity is one of the most popular or most important approach we may say on which each an individual breeder need to be concentrated maintenance breeding is a process of keeping the line integrity intact if we compare the self pollinated and cross pollinated crops most of the maintenance approaches are taken in cross pollinated crops because of the open pollination they gets contaminated very easily so maintenance is very much appreciable and important in cross pollinated crops in this lecture we shall discuss the approach both in self pollinated and cross pollinated crops so let's begin in plant breeding three activities are very much important first is varietal development which makes use of various breeding methods like selection hybridization mutation genetic engineering etc to develop new variety second activity is seed multiplication which deals with multiplication of successive generation of various categories of seeds it is regulated by seed certification agencies as well as breeders when we talk about the nucleus seed and breeder seed breeders play very important role whereas for foundation and certified also for truthfully labeled seeds the seed certification agencies play important role the third activity is varietal maintenance which deals with continuous and fresh supply annually the seeds especially the breeder or for nucleus seed which used to start another cycle of seed multiplication so let's begin with the maintenance breeding cycle in this figure you can see whenever breeding program is undertaken with this the outcome will be an improved cultivar this activity is undertaken by national institutes or state agriculture in universities and improved cultivar may be the nucleus seed nucleus seed is a handful of basic seed where the maintenance breeding is very essential because the uniformity and homozygosity along with homogeneity in the nucleus seed may further keep the genetic purity of the further seed chain and it may ensure the quality seed to the farmer's field so nucleus seed and breeder seeds are sponsored and produced by breeder and the breeder institutes then from their foundation and certified seeds which are multiplied by seed producing agencies so let us see the definition of maintenance breeding it is an area of plant breeding which deals with principles and methods of breeder seed production not only breeder seed production it is also used for the production of nucleus seed coming to the features of uh, maintenance breeding it undertake breeder seed production of parental line of released varieties genetic purity physical purity germination along with seed health are taken into account here breeder and foundation seed is used as base material for starting maintenance breeding program it prevents varietal deterioration by mutations and cross pollination it deals with continuous breeder seed production of released and notified varieties in other words it leads to fresh breeder seed production every year it also undertakes breeder seed production of the parental line of released hybrids coming to the importance of maintenance breeding this is not uh, much differing from the features it can also be added in features this is uh, essential for keeping the line integrity then eliminating the off types keeping the mutations to a, a certain level then maintenance by seed mating and selfing this is uh, most talked about the self or of uh, cross or often cross pollinated crops where over generations 
this approach helps to study the impact of different methods of inbred maintenance that may be selfing and sibbing and can identify gradual or drastic changes because of a number of generations of brother sister mating involved before the strain was split into sublines it was conducted that few or none of the genetic changes observed could be due to residual heterozygosis but that virtually the whole of it must have arisen by mutation during the course of inbreeding that means mutation makes or gives rise to the purging population or changing population the comparable estimates of genetic changes in long term inbred that had been maintained by sib mating and selfing when we talk about the inbred lines selfing may not be a good approach why it is not a good approach we shall discuss in the later slides so here is a a study which gives the importance of maintenance breeding peng and co-workers in 2010 studied ir8 variety as you know ir8 variety is the most popular variety which was the first modern rice variety during green revolution in 1960s to determine the age difference due to genetic changes in ir8 this was studied for 30 generations in greenhouse as well as under the field conditions so what scientists observed they found changes means not gradual but slow changes they observed that genetic changes along with agronomic changes means due to the environmental impact the genetic deterioration or genetic changes were observed that means 15% decreased a uh, performance of that particular variety was observed after 30 generations of continuous uh, maintenance plants from both seed sources had identical agronomic and morphophysiological characters the finding what it suggests that lack of adaptation to changing environmental conditions and maintenance breeding plays a crucial role in improving adaptation of newly developed varieties to environmental change changes that have a negative impact on old varieties let us see the methods of maintenance breeding these are the common methods okay positive mass selection negative mass selection model bulk selection plant to row selection used for maintaining varietal purity generally these methods are commonly used in self pollinated crops because in self pollinated crops maintaining the line is quite easy as comparing to cross pollinated crops the first approach is positive mass selection where true two types are selected that means we'll go to the field we'll take a variety will uh, mix the seeds of individual selected plants to grow the next generation that means the only desirable plants are selected or two two type seeds are plants are selected and seeds are bulked which depends on the phenotypic observation so for two to three generation this approach is practiced and that is known as positive mass selection it has its own merits and demerits such as if we talk about the merits it's a simple method of varietal maintenance it is used for purification of improved varieties it can also be used for purification of parental lines of hybrids and it retains diversity in the variety demerits like selection is based on phenotypic performance so always genotyping is better than phenotyping progeny test is not carried out progeny test is very important whenever especially when we talk about the self pollinated crops the second is negative mass selection in varietal maintenance in negative mass selection the off types are removed and rest of the plants are bulked and forwarded to the further generation its its merits are it's a simple method which is widely used for maintaining certain crop species the maintenance procedure is easy and requires little skill number of discarded plants are very few as comparing to positive mass selection then it can be used even for maintenance of inbred lines for developing the hybrids that means it this approach is also used in cross pollinated crops genetic diversity of variety is not affected it is used both in self and cross pollinated species 
demerits are progeny test is not carried out phenotypic selection again and requires careful examination of off type plants because sometimes confusing effect may lead to removing or pulling out or roguing out of the good plants also here i want to clear one thing when we talk about self pollinated crops we talk about variety or line simply a variety if it is not released that is called as strain and if it is released we call it as variety but when we talk about cross pollinated crops okay in case of self pollinated crops variety as such as used as a line means we will go for a cult go for cultivation of that particular variety in a huge area that means that is meant for the general cultivation but when we talk about the cross pollinated crops and inbreds inbreds are only meant for the cross pollinated crops here inbreds as such cannot be used as a variety that means we might have never heard that inbreds are performing well or we are getting a good amount of yield by inbreds inbreds are the lines which are maintained by continuous selfing or sibbing that means when we talk about selfing or sibbing in case of cross pollinated crops some genetic deterioration happens there and because of that the line integrity won't be maintained when it is crossing or cross pollinated crops means by cross pollination only we can uh, just get the better performance of those plants so when the inbreds are crossed among different inbred lines then we can expect the better performance so we will come back to the negative mass selection demerits are progeny test is not conducted after plants may escape which may lead to contamination then requires careful examination of off types so here uh, the difference between positive and negative mass selection is given the only difference is selection procedure in positive mass selection is selection of true two type plants whereas in negative mass selection it is removal of off type plants this you need to remember here two two types are selected and here off type plants are removed rest of the things are similarities only because the basic material will be phenotype in both the cases progeny test is not conducted applied in uh, self and cross pollinated species genetic diversity is retained category of seed used is nucleus and breeder seed then plants retained and bulked like uh, for selected plants only coming to the third method that is model bulk selection in maintenance breeding this method was first introduced by mannings in 1955 he used it in cotton what he did he took large number of single plants around 3 to 500 which are productive and true to type for selecting selected in a variety these plants are examined under lab conditions for three parameters like fiber length lint per seed and seed weight some means only three characters were studied by him additional characters of cotton were not examined or taken by mannings like lint index and ginning out turn can also be included those plants which conform to the mean of a variety for about three parameters are selected and their seed is bulked to grow new generation rest plants are discarded means what is done here in positive or negative uh, mass selection we go for pure selection based on the phenotypic observations here in uh, mass selection we are not concentrating on a particular character but we are concentrating on various characters and based on the superiority on different characters we will go for selection but here in case of model model bulk selection based on different characters when these characters are superior to in the particular lines those lines are selected merits of model bulk selection are simple methods of varietal purification more scientific than earlier two methods lemains scientific method than mass selection this approach is based on both field and laboratory observations then useful in cotton especially and other crops like many of the often cross pollinated crops demerits are again large population has to grown selection is based on phenotype 
requires more labor space time as well as skill the fourth approach is plants to row method this method inculcates progeny test this method is also known as progeny row selection remember plant to row method is also known as progeny row selection here large number of single plants of about 500 to 1000 true to types are selected from the parental variety selected plants are screened for fiber length and lint percentage in lab that means this method is also popularly used in case of cotton then plants conforming to the norms of a variety are selected and rest are discarded that means always if we talk about one particular variety we may say that this variety is resistant to certain disease or this variety is high yielding like that if a particular character is prescribing about that particular variety then we may go for selecting that particular variety that particular line so uh, this method was again modified like uh, progeny test in plant to row method only one season of progeny test was conducted but in modified methods two to three progeny tests or two progeny tests in a single year were done coming to the merits and demerits of progeny row selection here selection is based on breeding value like progeny performance it is more scientific method than earlier methods like mass selection and model bulk method then this involves both field and laboratory evaluation progeny tests are based on large samples which provide more precision demerits like uh, more laborious and time consuming requires more experimental area for evaluation and testing now we will go for maintenance of individual uh, kind of seeds first we'll talk in uh, self pollinated crops so maintaining the nucleus and breeder seed in self pollinated crops if when we talk about nucleus seed it is the handful of original seed obtained from selected individual plants of a particular variety for maintaining and purification by the originating breeder it is further multiplied and maintained under the supervision of qualified plant breeder to provide breeder seed it has highest genetic purity and physical purity so here two approaches are taken maintenance of newly released variety and maintenance of established variety sorry the two categories are taken here like new uh, maintenance in newly released variety and maintenance in established already established variety first one is maintenance of newly released variety or pre-released variety harrington in 1952 outlined procedure for this uh, maintaining the nuclear seed of newly released variety so what he did the procedure is given here sampling of the variety to obtain nucleus seed in any crop not more than 15 new varieties should be sampled in any research station select 200 plants approximately for one of the ill trials discard poor disease and inferior plants selected plants should be harvested four to five days before harvest to avoid shattering all the 200 plants should be tied individually and wrapped in cloth black and stored till the yield results are obtained bundles of high yielding varieties are taken for further examination and inferior varieties are discarded in the second test table examination of the samples that means with the help of laboratory table and uh, different equipments diseased off types and another uh, diseased or any unable uh, not of good quality seeds are discarded here location and uh, seedling of seeding of nuclear seed is the third uh, step here select clean fertile land in the experimental station in which the same crop was not grown in the previous one season that means volunteer plants should be avoided the land should be free from volunteer plants 200 or less progeny should be sown in 200 double rows in four series of 50 double rows in each plot sufficient spacing should be there between and within the rows to facilitate examination of each row during the crop growth that means double rows should be planted breeder 
उसके अंदर जाके जो ऑफ टाइप्स है या वॉलेंटियर प्लांट्स है उनको इजीली आइडेंटिफाई करना चाहिए और उनको डिस्कार्ड करना चाहिए नेक्स्ट इज इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ न्यूक्लियस डबल रो प्लॉट्स एंड रिमूवल ऑफ ऑफ टाइप्स दिस काइंड ऑफ इंस्पेक्शन कैन बी और कुड बी डन बाय द ब्रीडर्स हु आर स्पेसिफाइड और स्पेशलिस्ट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एस्पेक्ट देन हार्वेस्टिंग एंड थ्रेशिंग केयरफुली एंड इन आइसोलेशन टू अवॉइड द कंटेमिनेशन द इंडिविजुअल प्लॉट्स आर थ्रेस्ड क्लीन एंड ड्राइड सेपरेटली द सीड्स ऑफ ईच प्लॉट शुड बी प्लेस्ड ऑन ए प्योरिटी वर्क बोर्ड इन पाइल्स एंड एग्जामिन फॉर यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ सीड कैरेक्टर इफ एनी पाइल अपियर्स टू बी ऑफ ऑफ टाइप और डिसीज शुड बी डिस्कार्डेड एंड ऑल द रिमेनिंग प्लॉट्स प्लॉट सीड्स शुड बी मिक्सड टूगेदर इन टू वन लॉट ट्रीटेड विथ फंजीसाइड एंड इंसेक्टिसाइड्स बैग्ड लेबल्ड एंड स्टोर्ड एज ब्रीडर स्टॉक सीड फॉर नेक्स्ट ईयर कमिंग टू द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ ब्रीडर सीड of newly released pre released or newly released variety here the steps taken are selection of field then field should be properly isolated this is just a gist of the uh, first method okay agronomic practices like latest practices should be taken like sowing grazing and harvesting then breeder seed should be produced at the experimental station in the area where the variety is to be released that means where that variety is popular there only that variety need to be grown not that if a variety is popular in madhya pradesh and if we are growing it for multiplication in maharashtra this is not a good approach then sufficient spacing means spatio temporal isolation is given roging should be taken regularly harvesting should be done under the supervision of breeder and with great cares the seed should be stored in new gunny bags seed produced should be of 99.9% pure and used for the production of foundation seed coming to the second method maintaining the breeder seed of established variety here first method is first step is raising the crop in isolation sufficient uh, isolation should be given just like uh, the first method then by bulk selection genetic purity of established variety could be uh, satisfactorily improved by bulk selection here 2000 to 2500 plants which are typically or typical to that of a variety means true to type two variety are selected harvest and thresh them separately then seed of each plant are examined and any plot which shows off types or dissimilar ones are discarded seeds of individual plant may be grown in double rows or may be bulked to form a breeder seed stock <coughs> this is the method how the self pollinated crops are maintained for purification different cycles are taken uh, first the parental material is taken then after that the multiplication plot is taken here just you can see the multiplication plot then from there progenies of selected plants are taken and progeny selection is done here of types are removed uniform plants must be kept those seeds should be multiplied in rows different rows then the rows which are not uniform and showing of types or volunteer plants those rows should be discarded and further the rest of the rows are bulked pulled and again given for the next cycle of selection that means nucleus seed two cycle seeds are produced further multiplication of breeder seed is taken let us talk about maintenance of nucleus and breeder seed in cross pollinated crops already i have told when we talk about the cross pollinated crops we talk about the inbreds here again two uh, approaches are there maintenance of nucleus seed of inbred lines and maintenance of breeder seeds of inbred lines just uh, keep this in mind maintenance of nucleus seed is different and breeder seed is different coming to the first one maintenance of nucleus seed of inbred line after a hybrid has been thoroughly tested and if it is suitable seed of parental line must be increased by hand pollination 
their method of maintaining nuclear seed of inbred involving self pollination seed pollination or combination of both hand pollination means what we will do here when we talk about the inbreds either we will go for selfing or seed pollination we cannot go for continuous selfing because that may make the genetic deterioration as i have told you already when we go for seed pollination seed pollination is nothing but brother sister mating or the adjacent plants are crossed okay in a similar line those plants are crossed that is nothing but seed pollination so intermittent selfing and sibbing that means certain generations of selfing and certain generation of sib mating combination is quite required to maintain the uh, cross pollinated crops and this is proved by different uh, scientists as well as researchers here individual self or sibbed ears should be examined critically those which are of types or inferior in any regard of uh, differing in any character like texture seed size color shape etc should be discarded that means qualitative as well as quantitative parameters are taken into account when selecting the lines the individual self or sibbed ears may then be treated separately and sown in ear to row method in double row plots the second step is seeding of hand pollinated seeds the hand pollinated seeds should be sown in fertile land which is free from volunteer plants the same crop should not be grown in previous season that means to avoid the volunteer plants and off types seeds should be sown in the area where the hybrid is to be released third is isolation a uh, proper spatio temporal isolation is very much essential especially in case of cross pollinated crops fourth is inspection of double row plots and roging more number of inspection are required in cross pollinated crops as comparing to self pollinated only the vigorous and uh, similar plants should be kept which are genetically and uh, physi physically pure harvesting drying and shelling physiological maturity is the indicator for harvesting the nuclear seed physiological maturity means if we talk about maize here one brown line appears below the seeds that is physiological maturity at that st at that uh, stage the seeds or uh, the cobs are harvested and after that under sunshine or artificially under dryers it can be dried piles should be critically examined for ear characters and all the off colored off textured and diseased or undesirable ears are sorted out if the overall percentage of off types is more than 0.1% hand pollination should be done again after discarding the undesirable ones remaining ears may be bulked and dried in a clean dry bin at temperature not exceeding 43 degree celsius that means above this temperature seed may lose its viability after drying shelling should be done in a cleaned machine to avoid mechanical mixtures then after shelling the seed may be cleaned treated with fungicide insecticide properly labeled and stored under ideal storage conditions coming to maintenance of breeder seed of inbred line so far we talk about the maintenance of nuclear seed and uh, the breeder seed maintenance is almost same but here the quantity of seed maintained or the number of plants maintained will be more as compared to nuclear seed and again here land requirement isolation roging field inspections harvesting drying sorting of the ears remains the same as nuclear seed here i have given some of the uh, references which talks about the importance of maintenance breeding especially in case of cross pollinated crops that means in under cross pollinated crops if not maintained the mutations genetic deterioration like if selfing is practiced the line integrity will not be maintained that means genetic deterioration happens in a self continuously self inbred then uh, other kind of like uh, environmental impact and all those things will be the effect on cross pollinated crops this all if you want you can read this bush, uh, bush and russell in 1964 then um, fleming in 1964 Hicks and Russell, then Russell and Vega, along with Bossingalls and Russell, are the main researchers who worked with the 
maintenance bleeding method in maids Uh, this researcher indicates the importance of different maintenance methods in maize like uh, how selfing, full sibbing and full sibbing and intermittent selfing are effective in maintaining the inbreds. He talks like uh, less number of selfing and more number of full sibbings are very much essential as uh, if we talk about the sip pollination there will be again two uh, two kinds of sip pollination one is half sip and another is full sip half sip means when only one parent is known that means only we are knowing about the female parent and uh, rest of the things we don't know means we don't have information about male parent that means we are just open pollinating that so that we are only knowing about the female parent full sip means we are knowing both the male and female lines what we will do we will just write the parentage on the uh, envelope or on the label what we give to a particular growing cob based on that we may identify the parentage so when we talk about the three methods full sibbing is the best as comparing to half sibbing and selfing but full sibbing for a long time is also not uh, sufficient selfing is also required in order to attain the homozygosity rapidly so let us talk about the merits and demerits of maintenance breeding the merits are helps in purification of improved cultivars and parental lines of hybrids it uh, prevents cultivars from genetic deterioration and thus prolongs life of a variety that means if a variety is coming to market and disappearing after few years because of the genetic deterioration genetic deterioration means that may be susceptible to certain pests and diseases or it may reduce its yield performance or may lose its uh, homozygosity or homogeneity that is nothing but losing a character but to prevent or prolong its life of a variety maintenance breeding is very essential it is useful in studying the efficiency of various maintenance procedures it helps in quality seed production on uh, it turn leads to higher crop yield limitations like some of the maintenance procedures require a lot of experimental material for evaluation large number of single plants has to be evaluated in terms of agronomic performance and quality parameters hence only limited number of cultivars can be handled at a time maintenance procedures are used for varietal purification hence chances of evolving new varieties through such procedures are rare okay that means we are just going for mass selection or bulking or model bulk method here what will happen we are just removing the of types that means we are just maintaining the homozygosity there won't be any uh, chance for the appearance of rare mutations because before uh, it gives good results we are just eliminating them progeny row method requires two to three crop seasons for evaluation of purity of a variety that again takes time most of the testing procedures are based on phenotypic performance only in positive mass selection minor portion of the plants are received uh, which adds to the expenditure that means uh, removing only few plants in positive mass selection won't give better results friends i hope the information furnished by me is helpful for you in this chapter we discussed about the maintenance importance of maintenance matter how it is done uh, how it is uh, important in cross pollinated as well as self-pollinated demerits and merits of different maintenance breeding methods so thank you keep on watching my videos if you have any doubt comment it and uh, just let me know uh, and if you need any modifications you can also tell me so keep on liking sharing commenting thank you once again